congregate. You understand? It's a, it's a commandment. It's not something that we just telling y'all, ah, oh, no. It's something that's a, just for anything. No, it's a bigger thing. It's a commandment when you congregate. And the most I got see that, guess what? They'll release some of them curses up off you. You obey the most high, he rock with you. Right. If you disobey the most high, he don't rock with you. Right. You get what I'm saying? Let's read it out the Bible. Yeah, start at 24. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And let us consider one another. Us. Right. What's your name, bro? Richard. Let me. T. Read it again. And let us consider one another. So each one of y'all should consider one another. Come on. To provoke unto love and to good works. How do you provoke to love and to good works? You ain't got to answer that. I'm about to show you how. Watch this. Not forsaking the assembling. That's how you provoke to good works. Do what? Not forsaking the, the assembly. So, not forsaking the assembly. Sometimes you might say, I don't work, what, 60 hours this week, right? Some people do that. Some of us do that. So that spirit will come on you to be like, you know what? I don't want to congregate today. I got to drive two hours, an hour and 30 minutes. But God said what? God going to honor you if you honor the commandments, right? It's going to change our situations only if you change your ways, only if you repent. Hold up, don't, don't, don't go nowhere. Read that again. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Because what that do? What that do? That clean up our community. You understand me? By us keeping the commandments, congregating, guess what? The problems that you had, somebody in the congregation is going through what you're going through. And they're going to help build you up by you keeping that commandment. Read. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the matter of some is. Because guess what? Some people do forsake the assembly of the righteous. What is better than being around the righteous knowing that, guess what? I put my wallet down on the table. I do like this. Boom. It dropped, right? Brother be like, hey, bro, hey, you dropped your wallet here. I can leave my phone out. Ain't nobody going to grab it. But if you round the wicked, guess what? They're going to steal. They're going to rob. They're going to kill. But guess what? That's Being it. around the righteous, do what? Read. As the matter of some is, but exhorting one another. The righteous going to exhort you to do what? To continue in the faith. Keep right. God's commandment. Right. You understand me? You can't be what? Trap boys. You can't do that no more. Sisters, y'all got to stop wearing pants and put on a dress. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that come with congregating. But if you're not congregating, how somebody going to teach y'all to keep the commandments of the Most High? How you going to get over those little problems in your life if you're not around brothers and sisters? Sisters, for y'all, y'all get around wise women. You know what I'm saying? Older sisters that, that can teach you how to be a wife, how to love your husband. Right. Because your heart should desire that. Men, your job is to get the women in order. Run your house according to the Bible. Right. But the foundation right. is you have to congregate and learn that by the people who came there before you to teach you how to love God. Right. That's the only way y'all can do that. Bring it out. You understand me? Go back to Leviticus 23. Drop that. Out. Go back to Leviticus 23. Because that was a great scripture that Officer pulled. If you're not congregating, how are you going to battle those little problems that you have in your life to get back? Bring it out. Bring it out. You got to be around like-minded people. Because guess what? At one point in time, we was all in the world. Some of us sold drugs. Some of us hoard on our sisters. Some of us smoked weed. Some of us prostituted women. We came from all of that. But guess what? The Bible said you cannot do that. So guess what we did? We stopped it. Some of us went cold turkey. Some of us is a fight. But guess what? You got to fight for the most high God to keep his commandments. Y'all right. right. understand me? It's not going to be easy. Because you're going to have that friend that want to turn you away from the most high God. But guess what you're going to do? You're going to keep the commandments. That's Read. Right. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. Y'all, all the biblical Jews, right. the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, 
We are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Thus said the Lord. Right. And say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord. These are your feasts. The first feast that the Most High God ordained is the Sabbath. Right. That's right. He hallowed it on the seventh day. Bring it out. Guess what? By you keeping that, you honoring the Most High God. Right. The true God in heaven. Right. Read. Which ye shall proclaim to be a holy convocation. Guess what? The other nations can't get in. They can't keep, they can't walk in the building and keep the Sabbath with you. They beneath you. The white man is beneath you. Right. The Chinese man is beneath you. Right. The East Indian man is beneath you. Right. The Arab man is beneath you. Right. The African man is beneath you. Right. He cannot get in those doors, but guess what? You can. Right. You can congregate on the Sabbath day. Don't you feel special because you are allowed in those doors, but his ass is not. Bring it out. Right? Yeah. Read it again. Even Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Guess what? Y'all are holy people of God. Right. Y'all separate. Y'all set apart than what the other nations do. Guess what, sis? Look. Your oppressors have taught you unknowingly. They put it in a media. Guess what they do? They tell these sisters to put weaves in their head. They tell them to blind their head. Right. They tell them to bleach their skin. Right. But wait a minute. God said we are a holy people. That's right. We don't supposed to be doing what the other nations do. Let them do that. If they want to be in sin, so forbid whatever. When God come back, he's going to set them in order. Right. But our job is to keep these commandments in his present time. Right. Read. With these shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Even these are my feasts. So these are your feasts. The Sabbath day is a feast. Three. Six days shall work be done. Why did he say that the first the first one? Your feast. Six days. Because the Sabbath is actually a holy day. Right. Did y'all know that? You learned it today, you didn't know that. But today is a high holy day. That was the first high holy day that the most high God ordained. I got a question before I keep reading. How do we truly keep the Sabbath? And also, what day is the Sabbath? And what should you be doing on the Sabbath to keep it holy? Not, not you. Not you, because you should know. I see you got friends with you. What y'all got? What you got, bro? I'm about to get it out the Bible. That's one. Congregate. That's one. Give me another one. If you don't know, look. You good. I got you. I'm going to bring it out. I just want to see what you know. I want to build with y'all. I'm y'all brother. You feel me? What you got? What else you got, bro? That's it. That's it. Okay, we got one. I'll take that. I'll take that. What you got, sis? So rest. I like that as well. What you got? You ain't got nothing. Let me get... Get that. Get that right quick. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Because remember, we forgot. That's why I said remember. Because we forgot how to keep the Sabbath. Let me tell you how. I'm seeing it right now. In real time. Our people have forgot how to keep the Sabbath. So guess what? It's my job to show you to remember how to remember that's what i'm doing right now in real time right six days shall thou labor sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday that's it saturday friday sunset that's it get that hot food off that stove stop working don't worry about your work problems because it's the sabbath day that's what God said. Right. Right. Six days shalt thou labor and do all your all thy work. God understand we're in captivity and we got to work for the other nations. So he said, yeah, I understand that. I gave you six days though. But let's see what. But the seventh day. But the who? But the seventh day. The Sabbath. The Sabbath is 
Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. Right. So when Friday sun go down, when that sun go down, that starts the Sabbath. When it gets dark, that starts the Sabbath. Until Saturday, when the sun set, the Sabbath is over with. Now you can continue with your week. You get what I'm saying? But he gave you six days. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So guess what? If you're punching that clock on Saturday, God said you're dishonoring me. Right. And remember in Numbers, most I put somebody to death for picking up sticks. Question. What you think he was going to do with those sticks on the Sabbath day? Make a fire to do what? My point exactly. Most High God is not playing with us. He said, this nigga is going to try to break my Sabbath. Oh, I got some for him. Put his ass to death. So the Sabbath is very, very, very important. Read. And then thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. So now, we all got jobs. If you got a job and it's a, they saying you got to work on the Sabbath or whatever, guess what? Go to your boss be like, look, I give you, I work on Sundays, you give me this day off. You don't thank the Most High God, if you pray to the Most High God and ask him like, look, I know I'm working on the Sabbath day, but look, you go to the Most High, you face the East and say, Father, look, I really want to honor the Sabbath day. Could you please allow this heathen to release me on the Sabbath day because I want to come and build. I want to keep the commandments. You don't think the Most High God is going to honor that? He's going to honor that thing. He's going to say, you know what? My son, my daughter came to me and they want to keep the commandments. So guess what he's going to do eventually? You're going to get the Sabbath day off. Right. Read. Thy man servant, nor thy maid servant. If you have businesses, the people that's up under you that you employ, you can no longer let them work on the Sabbath day as well. Right. Because guess what? You're causing them to be in sin. Remember the law said to teach those by your works to do the laws and your actions. So if you not keeping the com if you are uh, keeping commandments, you you should be teaching them to keep the commandments through what your actions. Read. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. God made the heaven and earth in six days, right? Come on. The sea and all that. And all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. So, that's your point that you said rested, right? So, guess what? That's one. So, we got two. Let's get another one. Exodus 35. Let's get that right quick. So, Exodus 35 is another way that we can keep this Sabbath holy. Right? You got that, soldier? Get it. Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Bring it out. To get you up to speed, says, look, we bring out the Sabbath day. Wait, what's your name? Zah. Zah. Zah, we are bringing out the Sabbath day. I got a question, quiz. What are the two scriptures we went over so far? Well, not the scriptures, but the two things so far that we keep the Sabbath day holy. Can you teach Zah? What are those two? I want to see if y'all paying attention. By who? Abide by the laws. So congregate, what else? No, nope. she said rest. Congregation, rest. Bring it home. Yeah, just keep commandments, but what? Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. You understand me? And we're, gonna, we're getting another one right now, how you keep the Sabbath holy. Because did you know that the day is the Sabbath? It's not Sunday, it's Saturday. Did you know that? So you knew that. But I'm saying, did you know that today is the Lord's Sabbath? Okay, so watch this. Read. Exodus chapter 35, verse 2. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you a holy day. Y'all got that QR code on the back? Scan it, right? Once you scan it, all our videos going to pop up. All praise to the Most High. All praises. Hey, from your for your lips to the Most High God is. Lord's word, y'all. We see y'all at the school. All right.
All right, sister, y'all take care. You're welcome. Hey, six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. So, so read that again. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. So there is no labor, no work for wages on the Sabbath day. That's another way that you keep the Sabbath. Give me no, no, uh, give me a uh, buying the Sabbath. That's it? Yeah, verse three. Verse three, ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. So it says no work and also no cooking. You can't get on that stove and kindle that fire. Remember I read, uh, not read, but I talked about earlier in Numbers. The man was put to death for picking up what? For picking up sticks on the Sabbath to do what? To cook. And the Most High put him to death behind that. Y'all understand me? The Most High is not playing with us. He said, you want to break my commandments? Guess what? I'm going to put you behind the death. Guess what? Just like this sign. This right here. Did y'all know that slave ships was in the Bible? Did you know that? Who taught you prior to the day? So you be watching us. But prior to that, did you know? No, because the Bible is a history book for the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This happened to God's chosen people. That's why we are here to show y'all, look, to get out of these conditions, to get those jokes of iron off y'all neck, what we got to be doing? We got to be keeping the commandments, bro. Right. To get out these conditions, we have to get, we have to keep the commandments. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Because this is what going to happen first until, because the Negro, he don't listen. He hard-headed, right? We are, we are hard-headed people. But let's see what's going to happen if we keep being hard-headed. Let's see what's going to happen. Hosea chapter 5. Verse 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So, God is saying, I will go and return to my place. Meaning God is like this on oh, y'all. Most high God has turned his back. Y'all praying to him, but he's just like this. He don't hear y'all. Why? Because we do nothing what the most high God says. Right. We honor him to live. Oh, I'm going to keep the Sabbath. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stop smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. What is those offenses? There you go. What are those offenses? It's breaking the commandments. God said, like, for instance, you got a beard on your face, right? And Leviticus 21 Five, it says, don't shave off the corners of your beard. So now, I got you. So now, if you do that, and you shave off the corners of your beard, what do you think God should do to you? God is going to punish you. He has turned his back against you because you broke the commandments. It's that simple. Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. How do you seek the Lord's face? You read it out the Bible. Right. It's commandments that we should be keeping as the Israelites. You understand that, little brother? What's your name? Huh? Za? Za. Did you know that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Jews of the Bible? You're going to learn today. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.